Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message on deprogramming from national cults and media propaganda. We're not talking about religious groups. We're not talking about the local club. We're talking about national cults that you didn't even subscribe to, that you didn't put your money into, that you didn't even know that you were a part of. But once you do your share of digging, you look up various names, associations, you follow the money trail, you will then figure out that that media propaganda over the years, yeah, that was part of the recruitment process. You'll find out that you were a part of all sorts of cult types of groups, whether you worked or attended a civic group meeting or you were listening to relatives and friends who were a part of the national cults and all sorts of names are out there. And then there are those things that once again, you don't have to be a part of the group by a name, association, you can just listen to the thoughts, the beliefs, the personal opinions, and the commentary of others. And before long, you are caught up in a cult of sorts. Now, over the years, there's been lots of information out there about religious cults. And many of us were well aware of that sort of thing. But it's a great distraction from what people find themselves caught up in year after year after year that mainstream media programming puts out there in order to get you to go along with whatever group's philosophy, thought, lifestyle, whatever they put out there. So your favorite celebrity will go out there and talk about their various organizations that they support. They'll talk about their uh, music and their art, the movies that they're in, and they will say things in such a positive way that you'll say, I never thought about that. And maybe I should go ahead and watch that movie. And then before long, your mindset is changed. And some of the things that you used to hold near and dear to you, you end up throwing away and going along with the national cult philosophy, opinion, okay, the media propaganda. I'm briefly going to talk, talk about the religious groups because it's not just about, of course, what we know right in front of our faces. Like some folks will associate Jehovah Witnesses with being a cult of sort. There were those groups back in the day, such as the Jim Jones cult, right? Um, had people drinking Kool-Aid, you know, then of course there are some of those other groups that had people doing all sorts of interesting things, but we got people who are associated with all sorts of satanic religious groups who then talk in such a way to draw you in to their philosophy, to make you think twice about your Christian ideology, what you grew up with back in the day, what was considered right and what was considered wrong, and they challenge you on all fronts. What is happening? Deprogramming. A group deprograms you from one association, affiliation, life experiences, and what have you to get you to go along with a new cult thought process, okay, <laughs> Lord Jesus, and folks don't see how they're being removed out of one only to be a part of another, okay, and no, you don't have to go, once again, to the meetings, and you don't have to pay the dues, and you don't even have to say any type of oath, because those that attended all the meetings, and those that paid their dues, and those that made their sacrifices, will then take 
whatever the philosophy is of the group and then put it in all of your fun stuff that you enjoy and the next thing you know you're shrugging your shoulders and saying there's nothing wrong with that guy who is dressed that way and there's nothing wrong about this particular you know group because well you know they're doing good here in this community okay and they have given so much to our group because some folks are affiliated with groups that may not necessarily agree with that cult philosophy, but we received a lot of money. It's all around saints as well as sinners. The programming is all around. And some folks, they know how to unplug televisions and they know how to change music. <laughs> And they know how to not watch things that are going to make them think that, oh, it's okay, it's all right, it's normal, whatever normal is. Deprogramming is a set of techniques for removing persons from new religious groups and involving them in a rigorous and even coercive resocialization process in an attempt to get them to renounce their beliefs and accept more traditional ones, according to Frank and Frank, 1993. Now, look, I love how they, once again, specifically talk about the religious groups, right? But once again, we need to be deprogramming from national agendas, especially those that are doing nothing more than killing, stealing, and destroying, okay? We need to deprogram from media propaganda that tells you to do something and you don't have enough detail or you got enough detail, but there's some tricks and treats in the bag for you. And if you just go ahead and do this because it is wonderful and great and safe and whatever else they come up with, I mean, Lord Jesus. And some folks didn't learn the first time and they didn't learn the second time. They didn't learn the third time. They didn't learn the fourth time. They didn't learn the fifth time. They didn't learn the sixth, seventh, and eighth time, Lord Jesus. But sooner or later, if you get enough folk around you and enough body count, maybe you'll learn, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm coming where some people are. And you can click off and go ahead on if you're not ready to be deprogrammed from the foolishness. But a long time ago, I was deprogrammed from a lot of foolishness. It started off with family stuff where they sat up here and they were telling me all sorts of personal prejudices and bias and all this other stuff that I know that in the word of God, no, no, no. There are some things that God will keep us from. Definitely. No doubt about it. His word stands true. And it does keep us from a lot of problems. But then there were some other things that people were just saying out of ignorance. And so I said, I got to deprogram. And part of that was, was what God told me was to cut off. Okay. To cut off, to not be a part of, to not allow certain things to permeate my ear gate. And if I did hear some things, it goes in one ear and out the other, because you got your opinion and I got mine. And you got your thought process and I got mine. And I'm not going to sit up here and argue with people in debate when I know that God's word is true. Okay. And I know how it has showed up to show out in terms of while they point a finger over here at these religious groups. Let me tell you, the Lord showed me what they're doing when it comes to national occult associations and affiliations. And how they program a populace. And how a populace goes along. Very impressionable. Life isn't going so well. I need something to look forward to. I need to feel like I'm doing service for God and country. And so I will go ahead and I will do. And then you suffer the consequences of being a part of the cult programming. And then nobody wants to pay for things. You see. Nobody wants your story to get out there. They want to tell you to shut your mouth and you go head on and go play somewhere, you see. Or no, 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 that's not what had happened. Instead, it was this, 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 and this. Because somebody has to cover. They got to cover up the secrets, the lies, and everything else. We talked about this 
time and time again when it comes to family members how come you can't see that when it comes to national leaders national associations national groups why is it that you gotta uh, look the other way and pretend as if what you see isn't what you see and what you hear isn't what you hear i'm talking to some folks i'm seeing them in the spiritual realm considering themselves to be quite intelligent and very versed in all sorts of you know subject matter and enlightened and oh I'm degreed and I know better well if you knew better then why are you suffering like you suffering and then coming up with excuses as to why you're suffering <laughs> Lord Jesus I need some individuals who's going to be honest because that is how first and foremost some folks get out of this whole cult mindset you know your mind was held captive we have been talking years and years ago that they're trying to get your mind what 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 who who what what they who's they they all of that fun stuff that you enjoy. They want to be in that mind of yours. They want to control that mind. They want you to stop thinking the way you once thought about this group and that group. They want you to stop reading that word. They want you to stop doing all the things that are making you strong in mind, body, and spirit. Lord Jesus. And folks wasn't ready for all that mind control and mind programming that's been going on now for a long, long time. They weren't ready. Some of them, they're in their graves. They're in their graves. We can't talk to them no more. You see? I remember the subject matter came up about smoking. Folks had an attitude about that. Next thing you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Another subject matter was about alcohol addiction. Even had us at the time, us little kids, talking to adults about all that drinking that they were doing and smoking and the drug use that was coming into the community rapidly back in the 1990s. And they told us to go play and we didn't know what we was talking about. And, you know, uncle and auntie and whoever else can dibble and dabble and mess with. And just so long as you don't become addicted and then some of them ended up being addicted and their minds were fried and they don't even talk right, act right, walk right. Don't even reason right. And some of them are in their graves six feet deep. There were some other things that we talked about. We talked about how there were some issues that were going on with some of these drugs that were legal drugs. But there were all sorts of side effects. And one particular relative, I remember going over all of her medicines that they had put her on. And I said, it seems like this is, there's a strategic plan to get rid of our elderly. Because this makes no sense that you've got all these pharmaceutical drugs. And there were other folks, the same thing was going on with them. She had about 17 herself. Another relative had about 30. 13 plus and it was just ridiculous and I had her literally spell out because she couldn't read them I had her spell out all of these different drugs and then another relative had grabbed her bottle and she had spelled out some drugs and some of them she was able to pronounce and I said well why are they putting you on this well when I went to the doctor I said this I said that so for every time she had a doctor visit she was given a new medicine then we found out with all of the research, right, you give it some time, all of the research that came out, that some of them were actually causing problems in terms of the mind, forgetting. And then, of course, you got all your names, right, Alzheimer's, dementia, you know. And then there were some things that had come out about all of the sugar, the sugar, my sugar acting up, you know, they would say, you know, diabetes and this, that, and the other. And they thought that stuff was all, you know, normal after a while. There was nothing normal about it. Look at your diet. How many times does a doctor have to keep telling you, you know, look at what you keep drinking. Over time, you do know that obesity is going to lead to death. All sorts of things break down in your body and then you die. And so we just started seeing one while there, they were just dropping. Relatives were dropping. You know, you all talking about dread AC and folks talking about, you know, all sorts of vaccines and so forth. Before all of this, we were having a pandemic, if you will, of all sorts of folks just dropping from all these um, health ailments associated with their weight. Okay. And many of them are not with us. Entire family gone in less than a decade. Okay. So I said, what are they putting in the food? And even they even talked about food don't taste the way it used to back when you know, we were younger. I don't know what they're putting in the food. And it's not like some of the cooks in the family were complaining about how things didn't rise in a way, you know, like cakes and 
rolls and cookies and things wasn't rising in the way you know that it used to and certain brands just they weren't making the food taste as good and you know there was a lot of things that they started noticing and while they called themselves getting their act together in terms of their diet it seemed like even the things that were supposed to be healthy were having their share of effects lots of strange things right and but you know the programming the programming's out there it's okay it's all right love your body love the skin that you're in you know everything is great everything's wonderful and all that and it wasn't it wasn't I saw the family rapidly, rapidly declining in health and now not with us, okay? And you all are seeing what folks have done in recent years and you're seeing that their health is rapidly declining and no matter what they say, I can hear somebody right now getting on her mother talking about, I'm tired of you not putting the blame where it needs to be. You keep sitting up here telling me that you always had these issues. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I could hear this woman's voice. Jesus. No, you didn't always have these problems. They got your mind. They got your mind. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm, Lord Jesus. You see, and this is what happens when you're a part of brainwashing. You start defending everything that your handlers, your controllers, the media, your favorite celebrities, whoever have told you, you know, the the quack doctor, the one that's in pocket, you start regurgitating things and people who are enlightened and awakened and know better and they're not falling for the dumb stuff. And you can call them every name under the sun because media is good for doing that when you're exposing truth. And they're still coming with great force. Call me every name under the sun and I'm still coming with the truth. And so they sit there and they're saying, "Mm -mm, I'm not buying into it. But she said, and I heard, and my doctor told me, and you can't tell me not to eat this and not to take this and not to have this done. And they told me, they even sound ignorant. You can't think for yourself. Hmm. You still watching all sorts of shows, right? You still listening to all sorts of music. You, you know, just tapping your foot. Believe in everything that these people tell you because of a name, because you see them on television all the time. Just because you see them on television or you heard their name, you know, all over the place doesn't make them God. You idol worshiper. Lord Jesus. You see, folks want to call names and (laughs) scripture already got that covered because we got names for folk too, fools. You can be a fool if you want to, but we're trying to keep some people above ground a little while longer while they want to act up, act ignorant, (laughs) ignorant. You see, look, we know that when it comes to deprogramming folk, from their foolish thinking, you know, the foolish things that they say and do, the embarrassing things, you know, the things that make no sense, the things that they should have got their head checked, okay? When the majority acts a certain way and then you get that one that's acting totally different, something wrong, honey, something's wrong. You know, when history has shown time and time again, this is what this looks like. This is what that looks like. And it's healthy and it's functional and it's moving life forward and it's progressive and it's good, you know, for humanity. Okay. And it's the basic fundamentals. Then, okay, we good. But when we got this kind of stuff that's out here that no, that does not make any sense. And history has shown that that has been nothing but problems on top of problems and that you are literally taking a square peg and trying to put it in a round hole. We have a problem. Somebody needs to be checked. You see. See, with deprogramming. On ivypanda.com, they talk about the matter is that the recruits may not be aware of a number of things about the group that they've joined, right? And like I said, it doesn't have to be one where you go and sign up for and you pay dues and you go to, you know, a regular meeting. It could be just what you keep putting in your ears or what you keep putting before your face or who keeps showing up at your household. So you got to recognize where the BS is coming from. 
Can we keep it real and honest? You got to recognize who keep telling you this is safe. Who keep telling you that this is good. Who keep telling you that this life is perfect and it's wonderful and you should try. Who keeps telling you this and you know different and you've tested and you've researched and you've asked people who have been there, done it and seen a movie. And you've asked that dangerous question. Why? Why did you stop? associating yourself with that group why did you stop dressing that way why did you stop talking that way why did you end up breaking up with that person why did you stop pushing that agenda why and they will tell you the truth those that are really really disheartened about everything that happened associated with that group I dare somebody to ask why I've had audio in the past about why it's a powerful question and too many individuals don't want as well as groups don't want you questioning anything. They just want you to go with the flow. You might get them, but you won't get me, says someone. I know that's right. Child of God, child of light. So we're recognizing where is it coming from? The next thing we're doing is, is that. We're, we're not devoting our life to nothing. We're not taking these oaths. We're not sitting up here talking about our promise and all that. And if you did, then you need to denounce, renounce. Because now that you see the truth, now that you've asked questions, now that you've done your share of research and what have you. Okay. And now that you see the bodies dropping all around. See, for me, it didn't take rocket science. When I started noticing that family members are passing away, this was long before the dreaded C. And I'm saying the same old body shapes, right? So what's, what's some of the things that they all tend to ingest? Okay, this one, she loves her, you know, soda. This one right here, she loved cooking a lot with butters and sugars and really fattening things. This one over here, she loves smoking, you know, this and that and whatever else. This one, and you know, when you start seeing... The, all of these patterns in your own family and then the end result is death that should be a wake-up call for somebody but I know for some of you all it's not it's still not you still want to go along with things because your mind see is still programmed there are those individuals that have devoted their life to telling lies even though the truth is out there there are people who have devoted their life because they took tricks, they took treats, they signed contracts. And as quiet as it's kept, behind the scenes, if they were honest, they would say, listen, girl, there's money involved here. That's why I say this, but I don't believe any of it. Matter of fact, I didn't even do all of what these people told me to do, you know. And some folks broke the law, even went so far as to get some fake stuff. Because I know one particular individual, it's like God just strategically put me everywhere at the right time. I was taking calls and dealing with all sorts of boots on the ground as far as nurses go around the time when all the mass media program was out there and let me tell you the reality in some of these hospitals and so forth was very much different than what was reported then I was there um, when folks were at another job where folks were actually standing in line and uh, some of this stuff looked fake that they were bringing to me saying that they had their cards, their V cards. And I'm looking at this stuff and I said, "Uh huh, y'all putting up some fake stuff. You know, y'all, you guys aren't falling for that, but I know you got a job and you got families and you're doing some other stuff. Mm hmm. And uh, one particular lady straight up, the, the rules were was, hey, you know, if they're not going to pay for things to get done, you, you know, you're going to you're going to rip that stuff up, you know. And one lady about ready, she was ready to leap over the counter. I said, hey, if you want it to myself, I said, if you want a tango, we can do that all day, every day. Because uh, I'm not going to play this fake stuff. You see, that's why some places, I'm telling you, the people are just, they're just ratchet. And I, and I mean that, I mean it, the dirt that they do is messy. And God, that's why he said, look. You only got so much time that you're going to be somewhere and then you got to go. You see, you got to de, uh, what is it, disconnect, <laughs> you see, while you are deprogramming from, oh, they told me this was a great job. This was a good job. And, oh, this one told me that this was a good job and that one was a great one and all this. And then once you get out of that bubble and you see things for what they really are, I'm not going along with the programming. Mm-mm. 
you see, because this sort of programming, cult, mind control, brainwashing can happen even at a workplace. And you're so focused on that money, that money, I got to make that money. You know, I mean, I got to have a job. I mean, my mindset tells me I got to have a job. And so that's what I'm going to do. And when you do that, you're willing to put up with whatever you're willing to do some things. And then when push comes to shove, that's why some folks going to throw your butt under the bus. You see, they gonna throw you under the bus while they go and they take cover because that head honcho, you know, the investor, the CEO, the people who've been there for years, the veteran employees, they already know how to hide. They already know how to lie. They already know what tickles the ears of those that are in leadership roles above them. They know how to, to say, we got rid of this one and we got rid of that one. We made some heads roll, so you don't have to worry about that one, you see. Or we made it so difficult that that one, they quit, you see. And when they know that you're on to the foolishness and you start exposing it, they look for ways to get you out a little sooner rather than later, you see. Oh, I'm sure with all of your talent, you could find another job, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Already on it. Got as much information as I needed. Thank you. And now we're going to set the captives free. Hallelujah. We're going to set the captives free. Look, we're not about the stupid stuff. Too much stupid stuff goes on in workplaces. Too much stupid stuff goes on in some of the families, right? We see too much of the foolishness in some of these communities where there's supposed to be a leader who's supposed to be making sure that roads are taken care of, making sure that finances are appropriately allocated and got some people under this cult brainwashed mind control foolishness that if you speak out and say, no, they're doing something else with the monies, they, they go, no, 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 oh, no, that's not happening. I mean, you need to stop with these conspiracies and these rumors when you know that people work in the establishment and they've got their share of video and, you know, whatever else they got to expose. You see. When you got individuals that are trying to pull family members out. They're trying to pull coworkers out. They're trying so hard. There will be those that will attack because they don't want their best to leave. That's a good worker. You don't understand. I mean, the years and the monies that we put into this one and you're trying to pull her out. You know, she's a great singer. You know, he's a good actor. You know that this one has done so much with his monies. Are you sure you want to disrupt this? You know that this is for good. It really is. I know it's hard for you to see it, you know, but please don't talk to these people about not getting and not doing. Please. But at what cost, right? More body bags. Folks want to keep on gathering and keep on watching people mix medicines with all sorts of drinks that they're not supposed to drink. Mix medicines with all sorts of stuff that they're not supposed to smoke. And we're not supposed to say anything. I mean, I was a child and I saw these sorts of things and I asked questions. And, you know, back in those days, you get your butt whooped. Well, you know what? I guess it's worth it then. I guess it's worth it at some point. You know, if I'm standing up, if I'm standing up, speaking truth to power, I guess it's worth it. Some folks say it wasn't worth it for me. After a while, you get tired of getting the beat down, so to speak. So you just... You just retreat. I'm not going to keep living up in this atmosphere or attending these family functions and watching people self-destruct. I'm not going to do it. I don't have to be around these people who want to believe that the news is always right. I don't have to have those type of discussions with them. God will give us the strength to get through to the point where 
I'm not having that conversation with you anymore. If you want to do that to your own self, that's on you. If you want to be a part of this thing and that thing, you think that their word is so righteous and true. You put a man, a flawed man or woman's word over a perfect God. Okay, go ahead. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. They told me it's okay. I can eat whatever. They told me it's okay. It's safe. They told me that it's fine. They told me that I don't need to be worried about anything. I don't need you coming over here saying this and I don't need you going over there. I mean, that's what some of you all are dealing with right now. The fight. One wasn't good enough. Now it's two. Two wasn't good enough. Now it's three. What's the cutoff? The enemy, when he is recruiting, when he's getting people involved in whatever he got going on, he will recruit one who feels all alone, who feels like, you know, nobody cares for me. Nobody likes, nobody understands me, recruits that one who's impressionable. That one goes out and then tries to recruit everybody else. Then that one may be successful because she's charming. She's sweet. She's got some money. She's able to, you know, influence this one and that one. Okay. And then before long, now there's information that comes out that totally blows up all of the hard work. We got to keep them in the box. We got to keep them coming. We got to do some things. We got to talk in a way, you know, that it's going to keep them showing up. It's going to keep them giving of their time, of their money, their energy. Come on. I know you can do it. And she turns into a salesperson. And now she gets all sorts of bonuses because she invited her family and her friends. I mean, the church, we saw that, right? We'll see it when it comes to mainstream media. See it when it comes to folks going and once again, you know, supporting all sorts of um, events. They got to get you back in the stadiums. They got to get you back into the movie theaters. They got to get you back to going to the restaurants. They're not going to do anything that is going to disrupt that money flow. Even if sickness is still around, we, we already learned we lost a lot of money. So every man for himself, every woman for herself, every day for his or uh, every day for, you know, oneself. Because I do have my fellow people who, you know, don't put me in any one of those boxes. So that's right. We're not going to put you in any of those boxes. We'll respect you for what you do and say lots of foolishness though lots of foolishness and they don't care whether you live or die they who got deep pockets they that are tired of your type your group your association if you're not helping them portion agenda for some individuals they could care less about you and your family. That's a hard truth for some people. Is that the kind of association that I got myself involved with? Is that the type of connection? Why are they pushing this? Or why are they doing that? Why? There we go. We're stimulating some thought. That's it. Not debate. We're just having some folks go back and talk to your handler. Go back and talk to your little subculture. Your group. How much money do they stand to gain? By putting that athlete in that type of attire, how much money do they stand to gain by having that particular song on all the airwaves played over and over again? It's such a nasty song, a defiled, disgusting song, a foul, disgusting performance. Why? Why would you? I mean, all the nice, positive things that could be put out here, but yet nasty is out there hmm. so we've got to remove some people out of the atmosphere that's creating the foolishness or you yourself got to start cutting off and cutting away from and no that's not my favorite entertainer anymore because I see what she's really about or what he's really about okay just like this this sort of thing goes on with certain cults right satanic and otherwise we got to get them out Okay, we got to cause them to start thinking more beyond what the group says or has promised or what has given them. Okay, so yes, there is isolation at times that takes place. 
Uh, some folks were radical back in the day. They would just straight up just take people off the street. That's the, that's the kind of thing that some <laughs> groups did. I'm not in support of that sort of thing, but I realized that they were desperate because this is my mother, my father, my sister, my brother. Okay, Some folks are moving family out of certain housing because I can't have you live there any longer. These people got you twisted, got you thinking that mold is okay. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? They got you thinking that, um, you know, crack and cocaine and everything else that's out there in the hood is okay. Now, we getting you out of here. You know, that's not the way of life. Music, all hours of the day and night. Police don't even want to show up to keep the peace. Mm -mm, We got to get you out. And so we're praying in Jesus' mighty name that God is going to release some people out of these communities that got all sorts of foolishness once and for all. And no going back just because, well, I don't want to leave my people and this, that, and the other. Or my people going to say that I'm a sellout or whatever else. If that's the hood and it's re- and people don't care about their environment, why should you? You move on where people do care like you care. I mean, people will take a, a hole in a wall. And make it fabulous while all sorts of you know what is going on all around them. And then eventually the craziness shows up at their doorstep and now they're forced to move. You see. So we got to deprogram that mindset of I got to be where my people are. Even if it means losing my son or my daughter. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, help us all. You got to have your evidence and proof. For instance, I'm trying to, you know, get through to somebody that you don't need to take every doggone drug that's out there just because. So I got my articles. I got my video. You know, I'm sending over link after link. I'm telling them, look, look what happened. Look at this person. Look at that person. Look at this. Look at that. You know, and these are legitimate, legitimate sources. So we're talking about individuals that boots on the ground. They lost family members. Now, folks, that everything is bright and chipper and I never even come across anyone who's had these sorts of problems. Not those folks. It'll catch up sooner or later. I want somebody who, excuse me, did you ever lose a family member? Mm -hmm. And what was your experience like with that family member leading up to their passing? And what were they doing that caused? And did they have these issues prior to? And what did the doctor say? Mm Mm-hmm. And what did the doctor, doc, oh, you didn't, you didn't look at other doctors. You didn't take them to, uh, oh, well, then that's a problem then. You see, you didn't get second, third, and fourth opinions. And then when you did, did everybody sound like a robot, like they were reading from the same script? You see, asking those hard questions. Yes, somebody's going to get an attitude. Yes, somebody's going to push back. Yes, somebody's going to say, possibly, I don't want to ever talk to you again. And how dare you question what I've done? And so we move on. And we pray and we put that person's name over to the one true God and let God deal with them. That's what I've done over the years. We try to persuade, convince, argue about why you shouldn't listen to, why you shouldn't have done, you know. You were forced into, recognize you were forced into because of the job, because of this, because of that. Don't. Continue to beat yourself up about it. You see. Now it's time to break free. Now it's time to look at ways that you can build up your immune system. You know, in a healthy, functional sort of way. Right? And get away from all those people who convinced you like they were your doctor. Like they knew your body. Get away from them. Because if they're susceptible to believe just about anything during that particular time in our lives. You know the dreaded C, then most likely when the next comes, and there will be, they're going to be the same ones that's going to be in your ear again about doing some things. We've got to discredit the people who started the whole full, whole process, whatever that is in your life that keeps claiming your family members, that keeps causing all sorts of problems. We got to discredit some folks who started this whole thing, right? Some Some individuals, they talked about For instance, with the dreaded C, they talked about Fauci, they talked about Gates, they talked about Trump back then when he was um, president, you see. And then you're pulling up quotes. You're pulling up, look, look at the contradictions, look at the hypocrites. 
Look at the money trails, right? I'm just giving one example. You can discredit the matriarch, the patriarch who sat up there and told everybody that it's okay to, you know, go over here and do this and do that. And our group is not a cult. And our group never sacrificed. And our group never did this and never did that. Yeah, okay. Well, we pulled up some information that shows that they did. And we also showed, we also have, um, you know, your rule book, your playbook, your handbook, you know, whatever you can get your hands on. And let me show you some examples of all the people who came out of your organization who ended up being on drugs. People who had babies out of wedlock. You know, look at the track record. This, do you think this is building up humanity? Look at all of the abortions that took place. This isn't building up anything. If anything, once again, this is nothing but killing, stealing, and destroying. Satan at work once again. Nothing new under the sun. He's been doing this for centuries. You see. And for some people, you'll reach them. And other people, you won't. And like Jesus, he dusted his feet off, right? Dusted his sandals off at the door and he kept it moving. He went from one, you know, town, city, and he, he just went on. He went on. You ask the question, you show some people what was real, what was truth, what was factual. And it's still not enough to get through to them, cut them off. Because at some point, they're going to try to recruit you if they haven't already. You see, I know it's a process, though. For some people, it doesn't happen right away because you live with these people. But in time, slowly but surely, you disconnect from them. But I thank those of you all who have been so wise, so smart, so just ugh, awesome in seeing the truth for what it is. And may you continue to see the truth in all its forms, family, you know, business, workplace, all of it. And you question and don't lose heart just because somebody pushes back. Blessings to you.